styling the DSLR so you can look at my ugly mug, but welcome back. Another episode of me soloing this one, and today we're gonna try and tackle that hood, that disgusting hood, which you probably saw in the other videos. Uh, you can't see it here, because it's far away, but I'll get to it in a second. I was gonna pull the 240 into the driveway, um, but it doesn't start, because it's dead battery, because all it does is move from that spot to this spot to that spot, and the parking garage down the street. So, I can't test with the bumper, which is what I really wanted to do today. But I'm also starting out kind of late at like 5 o'clock. I mean, I like that it's summer because it doesn't get completely dark till 8. Which gives me more wrenching time, but I do need to study the hood. It's splitting. And took a trip to my local dollar store to pick these guys up. Plastic clothes pins. Um, really, you want like C-clamps or those nice metal, uh, like strong industrial strength metal clamps and the dollar store had those but they were a dollar each whereas this is a dollar for 24 so being that i'm broke right now we're gonna go with these and whatever seat clamps we find um i know we have some yeah like one 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 small seat clamp maybe two yeah two three and uh that's it so we're gonna go Three C clamps and a bunch of uh, a bunch of plastic clothes hangers. And talked with Reg, you know Reg from Ballin' on a Budget Garage, our partner in crime, and he said to just use fiberglass resin since most carbon fiber hoods are just fiberglass anyway with carbon fiber laid on top. So we have our good old fiberglass repair kit. We're gonna go mix up some resin and stick it in the cracks. We have a Toyota 8.6. Whatever the hell they're called. I don't know what they're called. What are the Toyota ones called? FRZs? VRSs? Let's see, are you gonna autofocus or not? No? Alright, there we go. So yeah, it's splitting all the way across. It's not too terrible, but I'm definitely gonna fill that in as best I can with that fiberglass resin and then hold it together with clips and clamps. And then down here, it's a little more severe. Um, again, previous owner did all this taping and shit, not me, and whatever the hell else he used. But it's a little more, got some more cracks and stuff down there, which I'm probably just gonna have to like, maybe put a piece of fireglass if I care. But it doesn't, it, like, you don't see anything on the other side, like, on the top, so it's okay. Really, I want to take care of this so I can install the arrow latches. So I don't have to keep using these like crap tastic like Pep Boy special head pin ones that were held on by hoop airings at one point and now are held on with these like makeshift metal things that Jerry and I made. Let's get to it. Let's go mix up some of the resin and come and see what we can do. I had to do this with both hands and I had no one to film for me again. But uh, this is what it looks like. It's not pretty. It looks janky. This side wasn't cracking too bad, so it didn't require too much pressure. This area, this corner, was kind of like thicker, more compound. Again, I can see this isn't focusing. But that, where the C-clamp is, I needed a little C-clamp there. And the same corner over here was cracking wider and I needed a C-clamp. Again, the edges weren't too bad, and these clips did a good job. It's also really windy, and it keeps flexing and cracking more there every time we leave the hood up, so... I'm leaving the hood down for now. Just kind of sitting like that. We used like almost all the clips from the dollar store, so that was a dollar well spent. I'm sure they'll be helpful in other projects. The struggle is real in this neighborhood. Super real. Anyways, earlier I mentioned air latches. Here they are. They're rep ones. Real ones are like $65 to $85. These are like brand D1 generation I guess. Uh, I bought on a budget garage has them. He suggested I get them. They were only like 17 bucks shipped. Uh, they look pretty good. I'm excited to install them. He had a hard time installing them because uh, he had so much to cut. Like you have to... Uh, I'm not gonna open this hood again. Well, ah, screw it. I'll open the hood again. It's like really sticky where all the resin is and I don't have my gloves on anymore but right here it was cut to get a hole for the other ones. We had to cut like a bigger circle there so you can actually screw in these arrow latches because, as you can see, 
they're much bigger or much larger rather than these circles which is good because then they can cover these nasty like holes these rusty gross pet boy stuff like i wasn't kidding these are garbage like look at how bad that is so just putting these on will make a world of a difference you know what? i might i might just want to do that right now because i got some light out and these look like a fun job so screw it let's do these too carbon fiber head repair and arrow latch install let's get it haha uh -huh. it's like we're not installing them because i just remembered we need to do a bunch of cutting which requires electricity which this car also requires and doesn't have because the battery's dead so can't install these because we're not in the garage and i don't feel like pulling a top gear and running an extension cord across the street unless it reaches but i don't think it does you know i'm gonna give it a shot if the extension cord reaches across the street i'm gonna do this over here and show you guys the real struggle of this. If it doesn't, then we're back to not doing this at all. But I highly doubt this eccentric cord is that long. I don't know, maybe we have two eccentric cords. Maybe we have one in the back. I don't know. We'll find out when I, we'll find out when I find out, really. Uh, it's kind of long. I don't think it's long enough. All right, let's see. All right, friends, when there's a wheel, there's a way. Uh, unfortunately, this one is really twisted. It's not supposed to be that twisted. It's I'm pretty sure it's bad for the wire. Like, it, yeah, it's just not good. That goes to maybe quarter half of the lucky way across the street. Uh, but we do have this one, which we installed to power our various things here, which shows me mad because I'm going to take this down right now and undo this beautiful job we did here and uh yeah move across the street with it so when there's a will there's a way hopefully no idiots in the area freak out when they see a wire on the street and like slam on their brakes but i wouldn't be surprised if that happens this is happening i'm doing this i am so lazy to bring my other car here jump start that car and pull that to the driveway and lose that parking spot that i am willing to run an extension cord across the street I really wish we had a real garage. This wouldn't be an issue. Oh well. I think we're gonna need a Dremel. Well, actually, Dremel's not the best tool for this. Uh, I don't know the name of the tool. Wrench has a tool, but uh, it's the one that kind of cuts up and down like a bandsaw, but a handheld one. So we're gonna use the Dremel and hope for the best. This part right here, you use this as your template. Cut it out, tape it down. That'll mark out where you're gonna place the arrow latch. So if you see these yellow outlines, is the full outline of this, the actual unit, which means this inner part between the, the cutout and the yellow line is where the screws are going to go. So you'll cut out this entire template and place it here. Just cut out the inner, because the inner is going to be what you're going to dremel out or cut out, because the inner will fit the inside of that. I'm pretty sure that wasn't even English, so hopefully you guys got that. For those of you that don't already have a hole through here, uh, you get to do some measuring and figuring out how that's going to work for you. I removed the crappy old ones. It's pretty dirty there. I'm not gonna bother cleaning it because it's gonna be covered. Probably should clean it, but really, I'm just so lazy to walk across there and get like cleaning supplies. This is the template as to where you're going to cut. Now you're wondering how that will affect the hole and such. These would be the things that would be sticking up through the hole, like where the old hook prop is. Uh, so it goes right there where that one goes. So you translate the red one to where the silver one is. That means that. The red part would be sticking up right through this hole and it would lock into this mechanism which means that I need to match up for this to be at that hole to stick with the mounting points. So that makes this easier for me than it is for Reg because he did he had a carbon fiber hood that was that didn't have any holes in it whereas I know exactly where this needs to be and now I need to just place my template here, tape it down, and dremel it out. So, let's see how that goes. Voila, simple as that. Did a few double check, triple checks to make sure that that is lined up through that hole. Again, you can't tell in video, but that's fairly where it needs to be. I feel like when I first saw these come out, they were mounted like this, but everyone seems to mount them like this these days. Um, so I guess I'm gonna do that because that's what the cool kids are doing. Here goes the point of no return in which we just cut the carbon fiber hood. Oh, okay. 
Okay, camera lens covered in dust. One second. Okay, um, so I don't know if you can see from the video, because I don't know what the video looks like, but that disc is a little bit too big to make all these nice round cuts. So it looks like ass, but the screw should hopefully cover that. And if it doesn't fit, then we're just gonna get the sanding end of the Dremel and just go in a circle. So we're gonna test fit the mechanism real quick. And as expected, it's not big enough yet, or not, or not wide enough yet. So switch in Dremel heads, and then we're gonna go ahead and bore out all of that. This should just fit now. I just trimmed that a little bit, and see, boom. Arrow, latch, arrow, flush. Look at that. Um, not getting any awards for any pretty cutting, but I also didn't start the cuts. Whoever the previous owner was started with these like craftastic cuts. So I don't feel bad for literally just butchering this right now. So I just removed the seat clamp from here, which I didn't want to do, but I needed to make sure that this actually is where it needed to be. That is over here. So when I closed it, as soon as I closed it, the original metal hip pin hardware goes right where I expected it to go, which is great. So now I just need to uh, screw on this thing, which Wrench was bitching about a lot when he did this. So I'm gonna see what the whole deal is, but yeah. All right, first cut is good. Um, Scared to look at this. <laughs> yeah, this is ugly. Don't. Hey, it's not terrible. No, it's, it's bad. That that's garbage. That's all bad. But again, I used a Dremel, so it's not exactly like the ideal tool for this at all. And I can't believe it, but I just broke that. I don't know why I ripped, ripped that off so like violently because I needed this for the other side. Wow, that was dumb. But there's another one. I'll just have to cut that out. And uh, for now, screw this side in. One side at a time. Okay, so I actually had to take out the hood pin hardware on this side so I can close it flush and start drilling holes into here. They give you these like tiny, tiny screws. I don't know if they even focus on it. Uh, I think Reg is complaining about this. Eh, it's not focusing. Come on. No? Okay, well, there are small screws, which means small drill bit. Uh, it's like 9 64ths. So I'm going to drill in the holes and then screw these in. And I did not do a great job because if you see, there are, like you can see, there's not hood in some of these. Damn shadow, sorry. Guys, awkward lighting. But yeah, the top and the left one um, don't completely cover the hood because I cut too much. So that's not going to sit well. But luckily we still have more than half the screws holding, in, holding down the latch. Hopefully it won't be a problem. Alrighty folks, I got all the screws in. A um, lot more difficult. Uh, well, not more difficult than I thought, but now I know why Reg complains so much. Uh, first off, they give you these washers, which is great. Yeah, they give you all the hardware, but because it's like cheap Chinese made crap, or made in Japan, but it's probably not, they actually don't like line up. If you can see, if I move this over, that's not gonna cover the hole. It's going to be off-centered pretty significantly to the point where it doesn't doesn't cover. So washers were useless. On top of that, they use this weird size for these little tiny nuts. They gave me the locking nuts. It's like 9, 30 seconds is the closest I could get, but even that wasn't getting a full grip on them. So unfortunately, like these screws are literally screwed into the carbon fiber, and like that's it. <laughs> it's really sketchy, actually. Um, I mean, it seems strong, like it doesn't give or play, uh, but I hope it doesn't wear down. The locking nuts are on there, on all of them except one. Um, but really, they're just kind of like a formality, because they're not even tightened down all the way. This is what I mean by it not locking down. I don't know if you can see in the video, there you go. But there's no room to actually get a socket around that nut. So there's no way to tighten it down. Um, and it's like that for pretty much all the holes. So that's the downside of being a $17 product is that you can't like tighten it down well. And I'm sorry the camera is being a real bitch right now and not focusing on what I want it to do. And lens is probably filthy, but yeah. So that's a real struggle is not being able to get a tool around that in a small cramp space. I and mean, look at the hole, look at how close it is uh, to the, the piece itself. You can't physically get a socket around that. 
which means you can't really tighten it. And since these are such tiny screws, like they're tiny little Allen keys, and it's like you're dealing with like child's tools, like like tools for a toddler, because they're so small. And uh, you can't really get a wrench around anything on the bottom, because you have to cut more if you want to do that. So it's just a real struggle. Would you look at that? Ta-da! It just required a series of guessing and checking of the height of the spacer and the nut. Now I just need to put the washers on and tie it down, but in this case it basically maxes out. But that's fine. It works. Ta-da! Now, can we finish the other side before the sun goes down? Well guys, looks like that is a wrap. Look at that. Really, it was the... Uh, I mean, that's not great, but I don't know if you can see, but it's wiggling, but it's still better than it was before as far as latches go. Um, yeah, this is uh, it's a lot better looking for sure. Um, this I had to trim the black piece down, the hood set a little high, and I might need to just do a little to that side and the side again, but for now, uh, I think it's all right. 750. Look at that. Right before 8. I wish you would focus. There you go. Beautiful. 750. So this took about two ish hours. Well, this side only took like 30 minutes. It was a learning curve from doing that side. So I'd say this took just under two hours. But thanks for sticking with us. Hope you learned something. Learn from my mistakes. Buy the actual legitimate brand arrow latch kit. Uh, because maybe their screw holes are better placed further away from the center and you can actually get washers and nuts and stuff on it. Uh, but let me show you the locking mechanism since I figured it out since earlier. Basically, you will lock it. Oh wait, no, that's unlocking it I guess. Let's see. Nope, that's... <laughs> maybe I didn't figure it out. No, it keeps wanting to... There we go. So then, see you can't push that, so this is... Well, son of a gun. Well, look at this. I mean, I don't, I don't really find myself ever needing to lock this, but I suppose, there we go. Okay, see? So this is the button that you would push to unlock it. See, the problem what I did earlier is I kept trying to push this, but it's really that. And that's how you unlock that. And you go here, and then you very gently put the key in, because if you do what I just did, you keep popping this stupid thing open, so you gotta gingerly put it in. Like, seriously, it's kind of a pain in the butt right now. And then turn it. Solid. That's that. Hood's locked. No hoodlums are going to get in and steal your SR or whatever they're taking these days. Um, but yeah, that's a wrap. Thanks for thanks for tuning in, guys. I know everyone has vlogs these days, especially 240 vlogs. So for the few of you that are watching and continuing to watch, uh, we really appreciate it. Please like, share with your friends. Let us know what we can do to do better. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for the next update for Project Vanessa Camry. Ryan,